because after um, probably years of planning and months of hard work to get the building ready, we're about to open the new sensory world in Jewsbury, which, which is um, going to be absolutely fabulous. When you come in the front door, you think you're coming into a cafe, and then you see the sensory rooms, and you come out the corner, and there's this fabulous play area here, which is going to be, um, going to be brilliant for local children. I think not just in Jewsbury, but right across West Yorkshire, there'll be children yeah, coming from... There's a lot of people... Um, because they're coming from all over. Yeah, contacts from the family, yeah. Brilliant. The, um, the thing which everybody says about um, being a parent with um, a disabled child, that it's often really complicated trying to, um, to navigate your way through with all of the different consultants and specialists you have to talk to, and the, the best support network comes from other parents. And being able to chat with other parents and share experiences and have a place to go. But it's not always easy to do that because you don't always have dedicated facilities. I've never ever heard of a specialist cafe which is there so parents can come and meet and chat, but where it's all set up so that all children, including and especially children with disabilities, get the support they need. And um, so I think this may be a first. I've never seen this anywhere. So I think this is probably a first, not just in Dewsbury or West Yorkshire, but certainly in Britain. It's a UK-wide first, which Linda has um, come up with. And it's going to make a massive difference to um, parents and children uh, in Dewsbury and in Yorkshire and far and wide. And um, it's all your hard work. I hope so. And um, I can tell, talk to Linda, when we're walking around here, she's really proud. You wait when you come around the corner and see her um, chucking around the square box in order to make the Windows technology screen be an elephant or a tiger or a ghost or whatever. It's completely wild. But it's going to be brilliant. Now, the, um, the thing about cutting a ribbon to open something, and Linda's been very clear, we can't have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea until we've cut the ribbon, and we can't, um, and we can't come in place. So we've got to get this done so we can get the cafe really moving. But the, the absolute key thing with a ribbon is once you've cut it, it's cut. So therefore, if we're going to do a quick photo so that everybody can smile, I'm going to pretend to cut it, but I'm not going to actually do it. Just for a second. So can everybody look at the camera and smile? And then I think, and, and then you're going to say a few words after. Well, actually, I think you should say it before we cut the ribbon, don't you? Okay. Yeah, buddy. Right. Say something first. I'd just like to thank everybody for all that work. Oh, I'm really excited about today. And I'm so pleased that so many people have turned out to help to this centre to open today. This has been my passion for many years because child with special needs to be my life. So I know other parents and families to have special places for them to come. There's going to be support groups, there's going to be teenage evenings um, once a month, there's going to be a, an hairdresser that comes in once a month so that the children can have their hair cut and they don't have to wait in queues. I've got lots of ideas and lots of um, energy to put into this building. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. So, everyone look at the camera, especially the little one. Just smile. You looking? Now, do you think we should have a countdown for the ribbon? Yeah. Right. Five hundred. <laughs> 499. No, no, that's probably too much. Ready? Are you ready to count down? Yeah. Ready? 10, 9, nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! So, come and have a look at this place. It's amazing. There's so much.